coming in underneath to get us ready for five weeks from now for prairie land. Unfortunately, she'd be bald because anything we pull now will take six weeks to sprout and it's less than six weeks from now. So whatever hair we see underneath the long coat is what we'll have. And that's not much. So that's good because then we can plan for the fall. There's two specialties in the fall. We got plenty of time to do good timing. They can include raking and that'll stretch out the show coat for a longer period of time because we have more time to get ready and stage it. Now the head we're going to do a little bit differently um, because a lot of it is long and because we have all this extra time um, and because it's a good opportunity for you to start practicing the um, finger plucking technique and the head is the perfect place to do it. What you do is you either rough it forward with your fingers or you comb it up and then randomly all over the head you're going to pluck out some amount at a time and it's probably 20 hairs or so each pluck because I don't want to put a big hole in anywhere but I want to pull systematically all over. This is a good time to maybe set a timer for five minutes so that you don't overdo. Um, I can pull a lot in five minutes, but you probably can't pull as much as I can in five minutes. So every couple of weeks, you just randomly pull some hair all over the head. And in about six weeks, what you'll have left is a very sparse layer on top of the head and a nice layer growing in underneath. And there will come a point, and you'll know it when you see it, where you're like, oh, I'm just going to strip the rest of it off now. And then you'll be back to a real nice skull cap after that. So it gets increasingly scraggly looking for the next six weeks, and then it looks great. So just keep the faith and stay with the program, and, and it'll get there. Um, the other thing you can do, I, I don't think I brought my wreath. 